What's going on guys? I'm going to do an update on my uh, Rams today. So yesterday I just did a video on my fry and uh, today I went over just every night I go through and look at my tanks, make sure it, uh, to see if anything bred and what's going on with the fish. So this tank here I have two males and a few females of the Rams. And as you can see over here, that female on the left, her tube's actually dropped right now. Showing some aggression, she's colored up. And this male here, I've actually been worried about it because one eye is starting to pop out a little bit. So hopefully it can heal itself, maybe type of bacterial infection, I'm not quite sure. But he's still acting well and eating. See the other male showing some interest, but they have spawned on the back of this cave. So I could tell they kept hanging out in the corner. I was kind of concerned that they may have laid eggs back there and eaten them and I didn't see them. But today, just right now, I don't get too close so they don't freak out and eat the eggs. But I'm about to pull the eggs. Uh, they've spawned on the back of that instead of inside, which I was hoping for. It'd be easy to see. But I'm getting a container ready. I'm going to tumble them. I'm going to treat the water with methylene blue. And I'm going to show you guys how that works. There you can see the eggs. It's not a huge spawn, but still a good spawn for a young female. We go ahead and just pull these out. They're okay in the air for about 10 or 20 seconds, no problem. See the spawn. I have this container ready. This is just clean water. So I keep a bucket of uh, the chlorinated water all the time. Uh, it's slightly colder than the tank because the bucket sits on the floor and the rim's a little, it's heated so the floor is coldest. So I'm gonna position these eggs on the side. I have a tumble there and I will add two to three drops of methylene blue here. You can see I have it up here. There you have it, simple as that. Here's that spawn I showed the other day. Um, these are the German Blue Rams crossed with the Gold Ram, and they hatched probably three days ago. So they're not yet free swimming, I'm not feeding them any food yet. Um, they'll be ready here shortly, and hopefully, this is a good spawn. I like to use. Um, bottled water or distilled water because I don't use RO. All my fish are kept in tap water and I've had a lot of success still just hatching them in tap water which is what this is. So the methylene blue helps um, but there is obviously pros to using RO water but my main goal with these fish are to make them hardier over time and I think by doing things that your common hobbyist or fish keeper is going to do, they'll have better luck raising these fish in the future as well. So there you have it. I might uh, lower the air a little bit on this. And whenever you're hatching eggs, you want to have a pretty strong tumble. And as soon as they become wigglers, you want to lower that pressure. So that's going to help them that they don't swim constantly and tire themselves out and like exhaust themselves uh, so the stronger air will help them hatch low air is going to help them not swim so frequently or as aggressively and then you can start feeding and doing your water changes and uh, if everything goes according to plan about two weeks from now they'll be looking something like this Alright guys, quick update, just saw these eggs right now, thought I'd do a quick little video on them, and uh, maybe I'll show the other pairs I have. You can see these guys here looking around, they don't know where their cave just went, uh, they'll be just fine though, I'll put another one in there. 
Sometimes when you pull the eggs, they will spawn a little bit more later on if they're not done. But I'm pretty sure that was the entire spawn for these guys. There's another pair there. So they might even spawn too. Usually whenever one fish spawns in the tank, the hormones in the water will trigger the others, which is why I have kind of a group setting here versus just an individual pair. I've done both in the past, but this is what I'm doing right now and it's working out for me. This tank to the left here is one of the gold rams. So there's a nice female there and there. There's the male that bred just the other week. And his cave was in that corner, so once I put him back there, give them a little bit of time. He may pair up that same female or pick another one. Um, some people say that once they pair up, they're kind of like bonded for life. Unfortunately, in for the pros, that's not true. I've had males switch from different females, and that kind of helps you be able to pick your own pairing to work on certain traits and certain fish that you like. He's got a good body size. I really like his top fins. Uh, he holds them very well whenever he's displaying himself and they're longer. And then mixed with the golds, I'm really curious to see what I get. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. Uh, quick little update on breeding German Blue Rams and pulling the fry. We'll pull in the eggs and tum them until you have some fry hopefully. Thanks again and then you guys have a good one.